Hold on to your heartstrings, everybody, because we're about to give them a big tug. Our number two story on the countdown tonight, a fantastic photo shoot that's not about promoting a movie or the latest CD dropping. It's about promoting kids who need homes. Countdown's Monica Novotny joins me now with the story that can make the Grinchiest heart grow three sizes in one day. Monica, tell me about this. That's right, Allison. You know, the numbers are hard to hear. Nearly 130,000 children in the U.S. public welfare system are waiting to be adopted. Most are eight years old or even older. Now, though, there is a new strategy to get them home. With the help of some very talented photographers, these kids are getting a chance to show off their true colors. I have been recording history for 20 years as a photojournalist. Um, this is something right here in my backyard. I can actually help to determine the history, the future of a child, and that's a really powerful incentive. Changing the lives of children up for adoption. One child, one photograph at a time. Photographer Najla Fiani Hicks, working with more than 150 colleagues, all volunteers, to capture the essence of the more than 300 New Jersey children currently up for adoption. All for a portrait exhibit called a heart gallery. The hope that adults who see it in person or online will make a connection and adopt. I hope I can have it, find a nice family and be with them for the rest of my life. Twelve-year-old Jamal needs a home. So do Isaiah, Bill, Curtis, and Ashley. All ready for these photographs to help them find a family. Chin up just a little bit. Yeah. These older children among the hardest to place. Many passed from home to home, enduring neglect, violence, indifference. Most of the families want the smaller children, uh, but I think it's important to know that the older children have a lot to offer also. In 10-year-old Ashley's case, an abusive environment pushed her into the system. Shy to start. So is it fun to be in the spotlight for a minute? Yeah. But with a little TLC, she slowly comes to life. You think I can borrow those boots? Please? <laughs> we as photographers have been given a gift, you know. We travel around the world documenting kings, queens, celebrities. But here's a chance for us to give a gift back. Great, Ashley. Jeffrey Salter typically shoots for Sports Good. Illustrated and Us Weekly. But today, it's all about okay. Ashley. She smiles on the inside and the outside. And I just hope that I can do her justice. With help from the pros, the personalities pop. I describe myself as a good-looking guy. I think I was a movie star that has lots of money. Here in New Jersey, photographers are taking their cue from the first Heart Gallery, which took place in New Mexico back in 2001. Since then, organizers say more than 10 have been held throughout the country, resulting in the adoption of well over 100 children. I just see the desperate need of these children just to want to call somebody mom and dad. These pictures telling their stories and perhaps refocusing their future. And people out in the world now want a kid to adopt or a, like a, a son. Maybe they can't have a son, but they need a son to help them or something. That's why I think it was nice for me to take a picture and they could put me in the news, put me on a paper and show me off. And you're a great son. Yes, I am. This Heart Gallery exhibit is scheduled to open on June 12th in New Jersey, but the children are available for adoption out of state. The gallery has a website which has already generated 4 million hits in just over three weeks, but they'd love a few more. So if you'd like more information on these children, you'll find it on our website. That's at countdown.msnbc.com. Fantastic story. And you can just tell the photographers were so affected by these kids. Just even looking at the pictures, you get affected by them. Definitely. One of the things that they all seemed to say when we talked to them was ap after the fact that, you know, this is as important, if not more important, than any of the work that they ever do. And these are people who are going around the world. They're not only shooting celebrities, they're documenting wars, so they do very important stuff, but they really felt a connection with these kids. And in fact, I'm told that three photographers, not at this shoot, but three photographers at past heart galleries have adopted children. I can understand why. Monica so. Novotny, fantastic story. Thank you. Thanks so much.